Students, I wanted to go over some percent increase and percent decrease problems just to kind of give you some extra info here. So the best way to do this, the quickest, most efficient way is just to take a new measurement, a new number divided by the old measurement or the old number. So two things are going to happen. When you do new divided by old, if you have a bigger new number, that means you gain something and you're going to be over 100% when you do the division. By the way, when you do the division, you want to think of it as a percent. So mental math right away, move the decimal over two places and you'll be good to go. Because um, we're talking about percent increase and decrease. Um, so if you can think about the decimal really quick as a percent, slide it over two places and you'll be all right. The old number, when the old number is bigger and you have a smaller number on top, you lost something. The new number is smaller, the old one's bigger. That means you lost something, which means you're going to be under 100%. So when you're over 100% or if you're under 100%, the actual answer is this. How far over or how far under 100% are you? So here's what we do. Let's say my new car cost me $25,000 and then I turned around and I sold it for $18,500. First of all, is that an increase or a decrease and then by what percent? Well, mental math, y'all. I bought it for this much, I sold it for that, that's a decrease. So right away, don't think too hard. That's a decrease for sure, that's part of your answer. Then, if you take the new number, 18,500, divided by the old number, 25,000, um, I get .74, again, two decimal slides, that's 74%. That is not your answer. Your answer is how far from 100 are you? Well, if you quickly take 100 minus 74, you're off by 26%. So that's a 26% decrease. Okay. Mental math, again, folks, if you kept 74% of the value, that's what I did. I sold it for 74% of the value. That means I lost 26% of it when I sold. Okay. So again, when it's under 100, you have to think to yourself, how far is it from 100? Now, when it's a increase, it's a little bit easier here. Okay. So I weighed 270 pounds after Thanksgiving break because I do like to eat a lot. I was 250 before. Okay, so first of all, is that an increase or a decrease? That's pretty easy. It's an increase for sure. Don't even need to worry about that. But I'm going to take the new divided by old here really quick. If I take the new value, my new weight at 270, and divide by 250, I get 1.08. Really quick, like, that's 108%. So how far off am I from 100? Well, I'm 8% over. So it's an increase of 8%. So increase and decrease, it's the same math, but you have to ask yourself how far from 100% are you? If you're over 100%, that's gonna be your answer. 108%, oh, 8% increase. If you're under 100%, how far under are you? Well, I'm 26% under 100. Hopefully that will make percent increase and percent decrease a little bit easier for you, okay? If in doubt, do new divided by old, new divided by old, and ask yourself, how far are you from 100? Okay, right here. This is home base, friends. Okay, go get it. Bye-bye.